Good evening. In today's lecture series, now we are going to discuss the case study on renewable energy in India. Renewable energy has started playing an increasingly important role for augmentation of grid power, providing energy access, reducing consumption of fossil fuels and helping India pursue its low carbon development path. Now renewable energy, it plays a vital role in securing sustainable energy with low carbon emissions. India will have a rapid and global transition to renewable energy technologies to achieve sustainable growth and avoid catastrophic climate change. So before proceeding into this uh, renewable energy, now first we'll have an uh, overview of what is the installed capacity of power in India. So now this data has been taken from the Central Electrical Authority website. So the total installed capacity of power in India as on August 2023 is 424 gigawatts of total power. Now in which the majority of the share that is around 50 to 60 percentage is through the coal based thermal power stations now which is around 206 gigawatts. Now followed by the renewable energy sources now which is around 131 gigawatts and then the next share taken by the hydropower plants which is around 46,850 megawatts and the remaining energies is shared by the nuclear power, the gas and the diesel energy sources. So this is the total capacity of a power which is installed in India. Now regarding the renewable energy or uh, before going into the renewable energy now we can see how the power generation is grown over the years and in 2023 now the total power generated is around 1624 billion units of power and this power is including the renewable energy sources and year on year growth now we can see in 2023 it is around 8.87 percentage growth compared to the previous year and in this graph now we can see there is a dip in uh, generation now which is due to the covid pandemic uh, covid pandemic Co covid pandemic now the total renewable energy installed in india as on 31st august 2023 now the total installed capacity is around 131 gigawatts of renewable energy sources and the majority of the share is through the solar energy which is around 54 percentage to tune of 71610 megawatts followed by 34 percentage of wind energy uh, of wind power now which is around 44000 megawatts and then the remaining it shared by the biomass biomass uh, cogeneration uh, waste to power and waste to energy so the total renewable energy capacity installed in India as on 31st of August is around 131 gigawatts. Now in India, the solar power projection that is uh, the expected solar power by 2030 is around 200 gigawatts. That is the uh, aim of the government of India uh, in order to promote the renewable energy sources. Now in Tamil Nadu, now we can see the total sources that is based on renewable energy. It is around 18,498 megawatts of total power in which 55 percentage of the sources it is due to the wind power. So which is around 10,247 megawatts and it is just the reverse based on the national trend. Now where solar energy was maximum, but in Tamil Nadu, the wind uh, sources is maximum. Now followed by the solar energy which is around 38 percentage that is a tune of around 7082 megawatts and the remaining sources of renewable energy is through small hydro and biomass. So in Tamil Nadu the total renewable energy source is around 18498 megawatts. Now what is the status of uh, renewable energy uh, of India across the globe now we can see. Uh, India is around the fourth largest clean, uh, clean energy capacity in the world. It is the fourth largest installed wind energy capacity in the world or across the globe and it is the fifth largest solar installed capacity and 
third rank on renewable energy country attractiveness index in 2021 so india is a emerging global leader in renewable energy there is no doubt in it now what are the initiative taken by the government of india in order to promote renewable energy now first the commitment given by the government of india is to reduce india's total projected carbon emission by 1 million tons by 2030 and achieve a net zero carbon emission by 2070 so this is the promise given by the government of india it is the commitment which the government of india has to achieve and what are the initiatives taken for that now we can see what are the proposed solar cities and solar parks which are to be installed across india so the solar city per state it is approved and approved setting of around 59 solar parks of 40 gigawatts across the nation and the government is also giving a push to the floating pv projects and the next one it is a uh, promising uh, step towards reducing carbon emission it is the national green hydrogen mission now the union cabinet it approved the national green hydrogen mission with a total of uh, that is a budget of around 19744 crores in the union budget uh, now it is a promising move uh, now wherein uh, the amount will be used for setting up hydrogen uh, uh, research uh, the pilot projects uh, etc now the tune of around 19744 crores of rupees and then regarding the offshore wind energy now the medium and long term targets for offshore wind power capacity additions are around 500 uh, sorry 5 gigawatts by 2022 and 30 gigawatts by 2030 now it is regarding the offshore wind energy now the next promise of the policy followed by government of india is the wind solar hybrid policy so in 2018 a national policy was announced to promote an extensive grid connected wind solar pv hybrid system for effective grid stability so we all know that the renewable energy it is interim nature so in order to achieve uh, the maximum uh, amount of renewable uh, source now both wind and solar they are tire that is we have a hybrid policy in order to now promote the extensive grid usage so the grid stability is also improved and then the last one is the atman nirbhar bharat scheme so it is a pli scheme in solar pv manufacturing with a financial outlays of around 24000 crores introduced under this screen under this scheme so uh, the government of india is also having a commitment in order to reduce or achieve a net zero carbon emission by 2017 so thank you very much now all these data is being taken by or is taken from the central electrical authority of india as well as the uh, mnre that is uh, the ministry of renewable energy sources so thank you for your patient uh, listening thank you